Good Time Zone Adventures, I'm Bag of Tricks, and welcome back to my continued adventures through Valkyrie Elysium. Today, we're going to be continuing the main story quest and, I guess, potentially picking up another piece of the four missing treasures. I think the Yalohorn is last, and I don't know what we're actually going to find next. But either way, hey, now we have a full set of Einheria. I really wonder if Hilde has Einheria of her own. Either way, with this last acquisition, we finally saw emotions on our Valkyrie. Which only leads to one thing. Pain, suffering, regret, and I'm sure an ending that she never wanted to begin with. So, I'm here for it. Let's see how this goes. Give me my pain for death. I mean, um, give me my heroin filled with happiness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I don't think there is a happy story in Valkyrie anywhere. In any of the Valkyrie. I cannot think of like one sincerely happy story. They're all beautiful tragedies. Valkyrie. You... No. I hate them. Stop it. Why are we doing this conversation again? Dislike. Though, from what I can tell, perhaps you have a... Oh, I can't care anymore. All right. You. Give me this. The Highland Elder. Now you won't be able... To... Oh, wait. Now you won't be one of those reliant... Ah, reliant types that depend upon the fortune of others to get by. You need to learn how to fend for yourself. Yes, Daddy. I can do that. By stealing all your food! Sight! <laughs> oh, yo, can I? Can you imagine? Just be like, you need to learn how to be self-dependent. No, and depend upon things yourself. And get, get it done. So you can survive in this world. It's like, okay, all right, Dad, I can do that. Let me, let me help you with that. I'm going to relieve you of all your food. Does that count? There we go. Still no verdant bloom. Looks like we missed a couple, a few. Unless there's like another area still. Because we have 15 out of 26 hollow blossoms. These things are so huge. Like, I can't even imagine running into a place with a flower that's this big with roots that span over such a large area without burning it down. Listen, I don't have fire tendencies. I just like fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's, let's talk about this. Hold on. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Thank you. Why are all of you such poison gas people? That's quite a horde of monsters. And that's on top of the countless monsters we saw on the way here. Valkyrie, do you think we will make it through? I fear that we shall have the same luck wherever we go. The monsters will always gather wherever a gift. Hmm? What is it, Valkyrie? This is strange. The gift seems to be moving. What? Is that even possible? Don't tell me this one could walk around on its own. It is possible that something is transporting it. We must hurry. Do not let your guard falter. I don't want to meet anything that can actually transport a gift. Can we can we just not do this? Can we not do this for oh hold on, we almost missed not only a side quest, but another blossom. Let's grab you. A merciful priest. Let us offer prayer to the mighty Odin. And he might smite the monsters 
the evil gods and everything else that blights our land so. We must pray for his aid, for he is our only hope. And technically, the, probably the cause of oh, all of your suffering. I'm, I'm just going to put that out there. You're interesting looking. This is... A journal from the gods? It's written in divine script. Upon Midgard, soul is trapped. There is a location written here. No, it is not of my concern. The mission comes first. Uh, an imprisoned soul. Is it an imprisoned soul of like the gods? And if so, which one? I think that's, that's actually kind of a very important one. We, we need all the gods we can get. Also, I just realized that our path backwards has been cut off because we annihilated the flower that was sitting here. <laughs> there is no going back. No return. Ruby gems! Yay! Because I don't have 500,000 of them. Like, literally. Hold on. Look, look. Ruby, 4,000 ruby gems. I need, I needed more ruby gems. Thank you. Thank you for putting such a useless item in the treasure chest. Oh. Oh my god, Christopher. Oh my god, Chris, please. No, but I just like you having this conversation. From what I can tell, perhaps you haven't given it much thought thus far. I have not. But the world you're saving, that includes us humans, does it not? No. <laughs> Do you not want to know <laughs> about us? If you're going to restore the world. Oh my goodness. Is this really necessary? All right. So, was there a backward shortcut? Then it wouldn't hurt to know what humans want. It's it's this like little section over here, right? But we couldn't actually get down. Like, if we could open this door, maybe. But I will consider it. Are there any? Why couldn't we go this way before? Huh? Maybe there's something blocking over this way. Because I remember we... Okay. We get told we can't go back. <laughs> That's why. Maybe there was a vine blocking the way before. More handy out puzzles. This one must be fire. Oh, right. Well, the brambles. What is this? Something you're going to burn for me. Tyker, lend me your power. Ah! Uh, I can be of use here. Yes, thank you. Oh, right. Hold on. Let's set how long we have her for summon. So she's a 30 second. We have 15, 15. Um, infernal. Inferno caress. She kisses you with fire. Girl, I wouldn't mind if you kiss me with fire. All right. So fire lance is her normal move. We don't have anything beyond that. We can put her at 15, 30, and 60. I think... I think for now... Oh, I think for now we will put you at the 15 second mark so that I can keep on resummoning you. Just because... I need you to get stronger. Come on, interact. Thank you. Pull the lever, Valkyrie! Wrong lever! <laughs> oh, man. I really miss Empire's, Emperor's New Groove. I almost said Emperor Strikes Back for some reason. Wait. Wait. The heck? We... We were just here. Are, are you? Is it because the gift is on the move? <laughs> is that why? Because we just got we we just literally came from Taika's like burning spot. Now we're we're going back here. Okay. We made a nice little well, loop. Look at that. 
Are those new Enheria I see in your roster? Your quest to save the world must be going well, then. I have no patience for your nonsense. If you value your life, you would do well to relinquish the gift. You're still very much dancing to Odin's sorry tune, I see. I guess I have no choice but to... What are you doing, Hilde? Was I not clear you were to return immediately after retrieving the artifact? Please, forgive my insolence. It matters not. So we meet at last, little Valkyrie. Oh, how I have longed for this moment. Do put away those trinkets of yours. I have no intention of harming you, for you shall all soon be mine. Who are you? And what are you scheming? Scheming? Why? Nothing at all. I only came to see the face of the poor Valkyrie forced to slave away for the almighty Odin's all-consuming folly. The Allfather hopes to save the world. Any who hinder him shall meet a swift death. Oh, how loyal. Though... Let me ask you this. Did you ever stop to consider how he intends to go about saving the world? What are you... You haven't, have you? Oh, you poor, wretched thing. You've yet to realize that you are merely a pawn in his machinations. But I shall say no more. Deal with those creatures as you wish. We shall cross paths again, my sweet, unwitting Valkyrie. Think carefully about her words. She is more honest than Odin will ever be. Wait! Snap out of it! We can worry about them later. We've got slightly more pressing problems right now. Holy crap, that was beautiful. Like, that was, that was like, total horror movie, picture-esque moment. That was absolutely wonderful. And she just appears right over his shoulder. <laughs> like, I want to know who that is, because that's, that can't be Fenrir. Or can it be? And if it is, then, like, what is what is going on here? Because the two of them at the beginning of the lore fought, and they both struck a mortal blow. Or at least a blow that was, that was enough to end the fight for the moment. Oh, right, we actually have fire now. Oh, yeah. stop can you please can you stop hold on we still have like a lightning guys on the field don't we and we got these guys you little bastards let's go ahead and do this i love how powerful that third technique is all right Kristoff. uh get out here nice you got get on that one Damn the seal! Wait, I can defeat you to get it back, right? No, 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 no. Oh, great, you're sealed. Do we have enough? We don't have enough yet. We don't have enough yet? Nice. We have to think of something fast, or things are going to go from bad to worse. What now? Oh, Father. As you can see, with my power restored, 
I can now send an avatar to Midgard. Thank you, Allfather. Were you concerned for our safety? I cannot have you die on me at such a crucial time now, can I? Are you all unhurt? Yes, Allfather. Thanks to your assistance, we are all unscathed. Then I am glad. Now, there is another matter I wish to discuss. Return to Asgard post-haste. Yes, Allfather. I dread to think what would have become of us had Odin not intervened. Indeed. Let us return to Asgard. Odin used what little power he still has just to save us. His mere servants. I will not let his faith in us go squandered. Like, I get... I get faith, and I get being grateful to be alive, and I, I, I get it, and Valkyrie was made for a specific purpose, and when you, when you are told that that is what you are, and this is what you shall be, like, what do you, what do you do with that? What do you do with that gratitude for life? There is a point where it stops, and the question is, will Valkyrie find that point? Eirik, no Eirik. I am sad. All right, hold on. How much did we get for power, dude? Egon, Egon still killing it with forty-one summons, and I have like cut his things down by a, a by a lot, by a lot. Taika only summoned three times. Her magic is what's going to be the thing that just absolutely crushes it, though. So that's cool, because that's all she is. Um. Looks like Cypher is going to stay pretty much even. Egon has, like, no magical attack ability <laughs> whatsoever. He's just all physical death. So if you take a look at the spectrum, it's the two on the ends. So Egon and Taika are both respectively flipped for attack and magic. Cypher is decidedly even. And Kristoff is a little bit more physical attack than she is. She's, like, half physical attack. She's 150% physical and 50% on the magic. You know what I mean, right? Math, don't worry about it. Looks like we've got some free time on our hands. You know, we've become quite the party now. What say we get to know each other a little better? A bit of bonding? Yes, I think that could do us good. We're all so different after all. The era we lived in, our homeland. Knowing how we all think will make us stronger as a unit. What about you, Taika? Is there anything you'd care to know about? Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, actually, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, I'd like to find out more about the Valkyrie. Wouldn't we all? Although, now that I think about it, I feel like she's changed recently. When I first met her, it was like she was a puppet or something. She had no emotion, just completely focused on the task at hand. I remember feeling that too. Yet, recently, she started to listen more to what we have to say. You're saying that she's becoming more human-like? Yes, you could say that. She's definitely not as distant as she used to be. She provided me a chance to be rid of my regrets before I died. She's my savior. I know that much. It's not just you. She saved us all. I guess it'd be more accurate to say that she is still saving us. I never thought I would serve another. But perhaps this is fate. I would do anything to serve her now. She needs our help too, though. So it's our duty to be there when she calls on us. So you believe in the good that she can accomplish? Thank you. I feel better now that I've heard how you all feel. Simply put, we follow her commands and fight by her side. I feel honored to call you all my allies and to fight for the sake of the world. 
and for Valkyrie. I just realized I was on mute. Ridley! I'm special. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, no, it's not that. It's just I'm trying to figure out what... I'm still trying to figure out for myself what I believe in and how I fit into the world. Is that right? Valkyrie, Cypher. I understand that you might be otherwise engaged, but I was wondering if we could make a small detour to Romali. I don't see why. No, why not? There we go. Very well. It was my intention to purify that area either way. Thank you. Then I shall take your lead. I was trying to say before, it's really cool that they all kind of get together and we have a whole mess of things that we can do now. Um, we have the two side quests that were sitting here, so we grab them, and now we have a whole mess of things that people want to do to get to know each other better. Or we can go talk to Daddy on his throne. But I think that we're going to leave that for late. No, we have to go talk to him before we're allowed to go ahead and do the subquest. But before that, let's go ahead and greet our friends. And make sure that they're okay. Thank you for saving me, Valkyrie. I will do whatever I can to repay your kindness. The salvation of the world is probably is a terribly daunting task, and I'm sure we can accomplish it if we work together. As your longest surviving on Herdia, as longest serving on Herdia, I feel like it's my prone. I feel like it's a. I feel like it's partly my duty to keep everything running smoothly. So if there's anything bothering you, please, come to me first. After all, humans and gods seem to have quite, diff quite a different way of looking at things. Now that I think about it, this may be, in fact, the first time that I've had allies who I can truly call my equals. It's a good feeling to have those that I can talk with so openly. Oh, Kristoff. Let's not forget that this this girl right here, at one point in her life, had a knife, no, an arrow, an ar a whole ass arrow sticking out of her eye socket. Uh, I don't, I don't even want to think about it. Like that, just how did that not end up getting to your brain? Oh, yeah. Daddy, I'm home. I've come to go look at you and your golden throne. Thank you for saving me. By the way, I brought home another Einheria. I just thought I should let you know. But unless you big sword. Can you give me another one? Actually, ne never mind. I have returned from Midgard, All Father. Thank you again for intervening in our time of need. However... It is with deep regret that I return without the next gift. It was stolen before we could obtain it. I see. Perhaps this was inevitable, considering who is against us. I failed to warn you of her. Our adversary was once a second-class Aesir. She goes by the name Fenrir. Fenrir. As you know, we gods can be classified according to strength. As a second class Aesir, Fenrir is very nearly as powerful as myself. However, she is utterly corrupt, and her brutality knows no bounds. 
She is the epitome of true evil. Her craving for destruction was insatiable. And in her lust for power, she tried to take the throne, starting a war on Asgard. So the chaos that has engulfed this world, your wounds, they are all Fenrir's doing? Yes. I managed to wound her severely, yet I failed to deliver a fatal blow. But heed my words, Valkyrie. Do not seek her out, for she is far too powerful. Concentrate on the salvation of the world. That is your task. I shall not fail you. As you do that, I will attempt to locate her whereabouts. She cannot be allowed to run amok any longer. Okay. You know, there's there's so much left unsaid here. It's like, well, well, how how are you intending to save the world after you get the relics, Odin? What what are you actually doing? It would not be wise to underestimate Fenrir. Even if she is wounded, her ability to get into the heart, into the hearts and minds of others is second to none. If you encounter her on Midgard, believe nothing that comes from her wicked lips. You cannot fathom the depths of her in... Incuity? Oh, iniquity. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I can words. All right, so there's a big old world out there, and there's a lot to do, but I, unfortunately, have more work to do. It's a busy day, and adulting sucks, so you know what? I will have to catch you guys next adventure. Until then, peace out.